Hello again, um, it's Friday afternoon, I've got a really bad headache, but I'm going to do my best to um, do this demo for you for, it's the Ctrader Risk and Reward tool, and today this video is going to show you how to do pending orders. Okay, so again, you can see the Ctrader um, platform being shown here. I'm just going to change the background screen actually to a light color and get rid of all the, um, how do I do it? I want to get rid of all the other options, get rid of all these because I don't like them, take them all off and then change the background color, background image to none. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I guess what we'll do is start the uh, tool now by clicking on the start button. Now the first thing you're gonna see is just the welcome screen. Okay, just continue that. Taking a bit longer, a little bit longer than normal because I've just started up the platform. Okay, again, you can see the control panel, and I will say that if you've not if you've not watched the other videos, which is an introduction to this tool, watch it watch it first because it actually explains more in more detail what this tool is and what it does. This video is specifically only for uh, pending orders. <clears throat> now, if you look at the top right, you can see market order mode. So we click on the settings tab button. Sorry. So this is the settings here. Now we want to set the order type to a, a stop order. Okay. I'm going to use last swing. We're going to do that on a separate video to explain that. I'm going to save that and I'm going to open up the risk, or risk and reward tool to create a um, pending stop order. Now, if I just drag this out of the way, now I can adjust the take profit up to, say, above this structure here. And the information it gives me before I even enter a pending order, it tells me the position size I'm going to have, what the risk and reward ratio is going to be, uh, the amount of pips I'm going to gain, what percentage that is. Uh, how much profit I'm going to make and what the total profit or my account balance at the end is going to be. Again, down here, you can adjust the stop loss to any way you want. And it will tell you, um, again, your risk in pips, the percentage of that, uh, your loss, um, and then the total amount you're going to have left in your account at the, at the end. Now, again, all of these, the, one of the key features of this product is the fact that if I go to settings here, I've got a fixed cash risk of 10 euros. Another video will explain this in more detail, but what that means is, uh, let me just exit that, no matter where I put the um, stop loss, I can adjust it all over the place. It should give me roughly around about 10 euros um, potential loss, and this is down to the fact that um, it also calculates your position size to give you that amount, okay? It's closest we can get to the 10 euros. Now, we haven't entered a trade yet, so you've got another line here, which is the entry price. So if I adjust this, you can see it readjusts all the values, depending on where you put the entry price. This hasn't actually um, opened up a market order yet. It's a pending order. Now, again, um, you can drag this thing around and you can adjust the values like that. You can move it wherever you want on the screen. So if I want to now execute or submit a pending stop order, I just click this little bull thing here for a buy order. So it'd be a buy stop order. And the buy stop order has entered the market. So not entered the market, it's been submitted. Now, once that's done, you can still adjust the take profit and stop loss by dragging the actual stop loss and take profit, or take profit and stop loss around the chart there. You can actually do that and, it, and, and look at the values that you're gonna get. So you can get the perfect trade setup um, with a pending order before you actually submit a pending order, okay? It's not as bad as a market order because obviously this tool is very, very useful for a market order because it means before you even enter the trade, you can pre-plan your trade. So again, you can actually also move the entry price. And if you do that, the whole risk and reward tool moves with it. Okay, so you can actually do that and then readjust your stop loss and it will tell you exactly um, everything that you need. Okay, now what I can do now is just get rid of that completely. And now I've got my pending order ready to be, to be um, used. Okay, uh, one thing I wanted to show as well um, was the fact that if you remove the risk and reward tool and then you open it again it won't snap to the previous values to do that you've just got to do an adjustment and it will automatically do it I think on the uh, market order it does it automatically snaps to those values so um, that's for a um, stop order now what I'm going to do is quickly close that um, so the stop order the entry price must be above the asking price if you try and do it below and you try and enter a position it will tell you you can't do that the entry price has to be above the actual ask or bid price, okay? So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to go back into the settings. And I'm going to do a limit order. Save that. 
I'll do a cell this time. This is a cell limit order. So again, you can drag the stop loss wherever you want. It will have roughly around about a 10 euro loss. It readjusts the position size. I can adjust the actual entry price and I can adjust the take profit wherever I want it to go, okay? And if again, if you click on there, it'll actually create a pending limit order. Now a pending, let me close that actually. Now a pending limit order, the entry price has to be above, sorry, it has to be below. So this is, the, it's reversed now. So that's probably gonna make it more, more. I'm just gonna close that and open up that way. And then I'm gonna show you and make more sense because this is a limited order, the actual uh, entry price is below the asking price. Okay, so it's because we had the other one reversed. So that's for pending stop and limit orders. Um, again, you can only add one um, per chart. Okay, so one buy, one long or one, and one sell per symbol. Okay, so if I open up the other way, I can then go double. So now I've got two pending orders. Each one's being executed from each one of these um, risk and reward tools, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is uh, cancel one of them, the sell, and I'm gonna close the um, risk, sell risk and reward, okay? We've just got the buy. Now again, what will happen is, if once, as soon as um, this becomes a market order, okay, which it just did, oh, has it not? I'm just gonna drag it in. I want it to hit the price to become a market order. There you go, it's just become a market order. As soon as the article, I can't remember what it is, article bid price hits the actual um, entry price, it converts to a market order. Now it's a market order, you can actually do the same thing as you would with a normal market order. You can drag the stop loss and the take profit around the screen and auto calculate your position size based on the amount that you set, the maximum amount you want to risk, okay? Okay, that's it. I hope you found that useful. Again, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and there's going to be more videos to follow showing you all the different features of this um, tool.